you said the abstract art was changing. You want to give us some uh, indication of what direction? Ooh, that was the question I avoided actually asking them. Yeah. Like, where are things going? Sort of predicting what's next. Yeah. I don't even know where my own work is going, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could answer that. Um, I think uh, there's a lot of younger artists that are revisiting modernism and uh, minimal ideas and bringing a uh, personal twist to it, uh, personal content that would have been unheard of 30, 40 years ago. And I think that's a way of, uh, uh, you know, keeping it going. Um, I think one of the reasons that the South American work in the 50s and 60s is, seems so fresh and relevant these days is because a lot of that work has its own sort of quirks that didn't fit into what the um, movements at the time demanded, you know. Uh, um, and uh, um, like, you know, they were getting reproductions of images from Europe and the States in black and white, so they had to figure out the color and, and the tones of things. So, you know, it didn't end up looking like what we were doing up here. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's really like the most interesting part, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyone else want to add their thoughts mm -hmm. to that question? Well, I've I've been working with the abstraction form for about oh, over a decade now, and I still feel that it's, um, yeah, I'm still learning from it, and I still feel like it's a fresh language. It's something mm -hmm. fresh still for me. Mm -hmm. So that's how I, I view it. So it still has a lot of potential. It still has a lot of potential, and mm -hmm. I'm still learning, and it continues to grow for me. Mm -hmm. So, And Lenore, what about you? Why, why abstraction? Why concrete? <laughs> É, na verdade, eu acredito, conforme eu falei um pouco, é, nesse espírito construtivo. As I said before, I believe in the constructive spirit. É, e eu acho que eu acredito na, 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 nessa, na, na, na materialidade da linguagem e, e acho que a possibilidade de, não é propriamente se levar à frente, mas... É, é, eu acho que essa questão do espírito construtivo ela é muito maior do que a, a, somente a questão da abstração. É. Uh, so basically what I believe in is the concreteness of language and as it goes forward per se, uh, I would say that the constructive spirit encompasses much more than uh, just abstraction. É, e é uma lição uhum. que eu acho que ao mesmo tempo, quer dizer, foi, foi uma coisa que praticamente, é, é, uma, uma, é essa é toda a lição que eu tenho, uhum. desculpa. Então, so this is the lesson that I yeah. taken from it all. Eu acredito, acredito na forma, acredito na linguagem, e acredito na, na consciência da linguagem, quer dizer, você trabalhar uh, uh, com consciência, quer dizer, mesmo em que, que exista a questão do acaso, etc., é, 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 o importante é, assim, o espírito construtivo é o... Ah, so what I believe is much more in a, the awareness of language and awareness in general. Yes, there, was, there, were, there, there were things that happened, but basically what I believe is in, in awareness and in the constructive spirit. I think if we keep ourselves open and I, our ideas about the work open, it's going to grow. And Very good. that's really important to, to do. Good, good. Uh, we have time for one more question. Yes. I was, I was given two spaces to look at, and when I saw the court space, I, it, I felt a connection because of the, the square format of the space. It's, it's a traditional format that I use for my canvas paintings, and, and all the other references, the arches and things, I felt a connection. And I knew it was used for a court to, to serve food and to have special events and all of these things, so um, I was aware of it. Yeah. Uh, no, they weren't. Uh, actually, the um, installation was already set. Uh, the colors were chosen and things that I, for the installation, it was in 
until later that they were placed. And it was to my surprise, I couldn't believe how great they uh, relate to the uh, arches that I, the colors that I, I chose for the arches. They framed the work and it's this wonderful dialogue that uh, the blackout has with uh, those paintings in constructive spirit. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'd like to uh, say thank you to our panelists this evening. Lenora DeBarros, Paul Henry Ramirez, and Don Guazin. And I'd like to thank the staff of the New York Museum for organizing this uh, opportunity to have um, three wonderful artists um, speak for themselves, which is a pretty rare opportunity for us. So thank you, and uh, good night. Thank you.